They rigged an election. We won this election. Former President Trump's false claims about the 2020 election led to one of the ugliest days in our nation's history, January 6th, 2021. <laughs> But misinformation and disinformation aren't limited to elections. COVID vaccine hesitancy remains a stubborn challenge among some groups, and experts worry it's made worse by the spread of false information. Massachusetts Attorney General Maura Healey says the problem is that social media platforms are not being held to meaningful standards through regulation. The problem is the platforms are not held to any standards right now, and that's where the majority of news content, uh, information related to, to public health, public safety, that's where it's, all the action is. Healy says the problem is insidious. We've seen anti-vaxxers use Facebook, use these social media platforms to specifically target communities of color who understandably have had a, a history of, of hesitancy around vaccinations. So they're going out and they're specifically targeting them, which again, you know, only will serve to discourage people from getting vaccines, which further undermines public health. Dr. Basella Ojikutu, an infectious disease specialist at Brigham and Women's Hospital, is working to dispel false information that has raised vaccine concerns in communities of color. I would say black, Latinx, indigenous communities, really any community that has been sort of subjected to structural racism in this country. This history of being mistreated within the medical system, within healthcare systems, within research, this has sort of, sort of set the stage not to trust those institutions that have never proven themselves to be trustworthy. Dr. So Ojikutu cites three examples of COVID vaccine misinformation that have taken hold in some communities. The first is that vaccines will cause infertility. We recommend vaccines in young women. We, we recommend COVID-19 vaccines in women who are pregnant. We know that that isn't true. Second, COVID vaccines alter patients' DNA. We know that that's not true either. They don't have that ability to integrate with our host DNA. Third, the Moderna vaccine caused the death of baseball legend Hank Aaron. He got the Moderna vaccine back in January. And then probably two weeks later, maybe a little more than that, he passed away. And he passed away of natural causes. Among the vaccine hesitant, Republicans. A PBS NewsHour NPR poll in May found four of 10 Republicans don't plan to get a vaccine. Tom Mountain is the vice chairman of the Massachusetts Republican Party. He has a strong message for his fellow conservatives who refuse to be vaccinated. In a non-diplomatic way, stop being idiots and get vaccinated. Mountain says the libertarian mindset among many of his fellow Republicans is leading to the spread of misinformation about vaccines. The misinformation was and still is that it hasn't been tested long enough. You normally have a three to four year period before a vaccine comes out. So there's that suspicion as well. And now you have a Democrat president who's pushing it as well. So you have the combination of factors that prevents people from getting the vaccine. Mountain contracted the virus in December 2020, he says after attending a White House Hanukkah party. His own experience with the illness is the reason he's appealing to fellow Republicans. And prior to that, I was not one of these um, anti-mask wearing types, but I was just ambivalent about the whole thing. I was very nonchalant about it. Um, but after that, I suddenly, um, based on the horror that I went through, and it was a horror, I turned 180 degrees around because I almost succumbed to it. In March, Attorney General Healy called on Facebook and Twitter to take stronger measures to stop the spread of false information pushed by anti-vaccine accounts. But she says more needs to be done, including federal legislation to rein in the tech companies. Are you hopeful that these letters you're sending to the big tech firms are gonna have an impact? I am hopeful and I am optimistic. Unfortunately, we've gotta deal with, with some of what we're, we're seeing right now, but I am confident my money is, is on the American people.